Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my loves. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can get notified of the most recent videos going up. All right, are you guys ready for the lunar eclipse that we're going to be experiencing on Monday, March 25th? It is the beginning of eclipse season. Um, it is going to be, like I said, a lunar eclipse following the solar eclipse um, that is happening in April 8th. So you guys want to make sure that you guys are cleansed before anything. I highly encourage you guys to do a cleansing, road openers, anything like that um, is going to really help you guys. As you guys know, solar eclipses or lunar eclipses, eclipse season is celestial events that happen right uh that propel us towards our destiny and what we want to do is completely let go of control around this time uh it is very crucial and very important so that you can fully see manifestations so that you can fully see transformations happen uh in your life and by obviously cleansing yourself you are vibrating from a very high frequency so it's going to be much more effortless Eclipses are always transformational, whether good or bad, there is transformation that happens from that. So um, for those of you guys that have been having difficulty when it comes to love and romance, or those of you guys that maybe, you know, it feels like it's been stagnant in your romantic sector, this spell is for you. And I would highly encourage you guys to do it either uh, Saturday or Sunday before the lunar eclipse. Like I said, these are celestial events and us as practitioners, we have to make sure that we are um, fully ready, that we are using the most out of these energies because they are extremely powerful astrological celestial events. So again, for those of you guys that have been having difficulty when it comes to love, even if you're in a partnership and it's been a bit rough, you want to do this uh, spiritual love bath. It's going to really open the doors when it comes to love and romance. It's going to uh, open the doors to bringing in new love as well for those of you guys that are single. And it's very simplistic, and I'm sure you probably have these ingredients at home. So I'm going to break it down very easily for you guys. What you're going to be needing is you're going to be needing some raspberry, as you guys can see here. I've been mixing them for a bit. And you want to add some star anise. Um, this is, you know, you really want to break it down because we're going to add that to this pot. You're going to be needing a pot and you're going to be needing two red apples. Two, obviously, because it's a representation of balance, but also a representation of your counterpart or bringing in that love that is going to be fertile, that is going to be long lasting. So that's the reason why we're using two apples here i suggest you guys keep the seeds do not remove the seeds you're going to also be needing three cinnamon sticks as you guys can see here you can use one you can use two you guys know i work in threes so that's the reason why i'm using three cinnamon sticks you're also going to be needing three one two or three um nut mix okay and yes you can use if you don't have these uh you can use the powder, you can use powder of nutmeg and cinnamon, that's okay. I prefer to use these because it makes it much more easier when I go and strain uh, this concoction, okay? And you're going to be needing rose petals, preferably red or pink. Uh, we're using here pink because we do want to draw in more of that purity, that uh, true authentic connection, right? Um, you're also going to be needing some peach blossom and some lavender. Now, for peach blossom, if you don't have peach blossom, you can substitute it for some chamomile, okay? It's going to do the same trick. Now, if you're a guy and you're doing this and you want to open the doors when it comes to love and romance, you want to bring in more excitement, more suitors, more uh, partners, more people that you are wanting to draw in. Instead of using the uh, star anise what you're going to be using is patchouli but the rest of the ingredients are going to be the same okay so this is only for men if you're doing this and you're you yourself are a man instead of using star anise mix with the raspberry what you're going to do is you're going to mix the raspberry with some patchouli and you're going to add it to this pot okay very simple also you're going to be needing some honey and of course some sugar because obviously we are uh, trying to sweeten our love life okay so what you're going to do is basically you're going to add all of the ingredients uh, like I said 
you're going to put this all of this in a pot and you're going to basically uh, simmer it you want to make sure that you're simmering it at a very low heat you don't want to boil it okay and instead of using water what we're going to be integrating is some milk now you can use any type of milk you can use almond milk you can use regular milk I prefer to use the regular red mil uh, milk I feel like it's much more effective but like I said to each their own <laughs> um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put all of the ingredients here I've already mashed up the raspberry with the with the star anise so what I am going to do is integrate it in the pot and again you guys want to you can do this if you see this video and you see it after the eclipse you can still um you can still use it you can still make it um any other time frames right but like i said we want to make like take full advantage of we want to take full advantage of these eclipses that are happening this eclipse season that we're beginning and obviously when there are celestial events you guys uh it is extremely powerful the energy is extremely palpable um this is why we only do certain type of rituals and spell works in these type of events right so we technically have a window of uh, being able to do those specific rituals and ceremonies um four times out of the year so again you want to make the most of it like i said if you find this video way after eclipse season you can still do it it's going to do uh, the same thing it's going to bring to you new love it's going to bring to you love that is withstanding love that is built on a solid foundation and um obviously using the eclipses right the the, the energy is only going to make it that much more faster and much more powerful okay so that's the reason why we're doing this all right so you're going to integrate all of your ingredients into the pot I am adding the lavender and I am now adding the peach blossoms. Now, this spell has been used obviously throughout centuries and it has many different names. I'm sure you guys have heard of Cleopatra's milk or Aphrodite's milk. Um, and this is it, basically. This is uh, how you do it. And what you're going to do is you're going to integrate, like I said, the I'm going to add some sugar now and you want to be very abundant with the sugar uh, because when we are done we are going to strain and we're only going to keep uh, keep the liquid right but I prefer to keep it a bit uh, thick I don't like it on the lighter side only because you want to use the sugar when you are lathering your body completely and you want to be by the way you want to scrub it all over your body from your neck down okay so from your neck down that's how you're going to bathe you're going to lather this all over your body and you want to uh you want to rub it in a circular motion why do we do circles you guys because you are unblocking whatever chakra points is all over your body you're unblocking that and those could be chakra points that you have blocked for a while that maybe instead of being able to attract what you do is you kind of repulse people and not that you do this purposely but sometimes when we carry other people's energies when we carry past traumas when it comes to love and romance um, your energy could become so weak now understanding when we talk about energy your energy meaning your aura field can go as far as 20 feet or further out um, if you are uh, vibrating to your highest frequency um, so uh, obviously if you do meditation obviously if you do cleansings then your aura field is going to be very strong now for those of you that maybe have difficulty or maybe even find it very difficult for people to come up to you to try to get your number try to talk to you you know i've had clients tell me not even a, a not even a fly lands on me you know what i mean uh, as a metaphor um speaking about how you know not existent is their love life it could be potentially because of that and it's because your aura field your vibration is very low so when you walk in a room 
people are not really going to be drawn to your energy because it's vibrating more on the low frequency. Now, again, doing these types of baths, doing these types of cleansings, um, it's going to really empower, empower you. It's going to recharge your energy. It's going to help you vibrate from a higher frequency. Therefore, whenever you step in a room or you go out or you're doing something out and about, your energy is felt, your presence is felt, and that's how we get attention and that's how we draw in like magnets. So again, this is really going to help you. This is going to, you're going to notice people looking at you. You're going to notice more attention coming your way. And I do find that often clients, when I do this for them, um, which I am doing one of these for my client, uh, they often tell me that within you know, a day of that bath, they start to notice like people being very receptive, even, you know, as an example, if you are, um, if you're straight, even females, like if you're a female yourself, even females will be more complimentary to you. They're more, uh, you know, giving you compliments and stuff like that. And it's because your energy is purified. So you're vibrating to the highest frequency. People are more nicer to you. They're more loving, more caring towards you. So you're going to notice all of this. Okay. All right, so once that is done, we're going to put in the honey. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add the milk. And like I said, you're going to put it in the fire and you're going to make sure, very crucial and very important, especially when we're dealing with milk, you want to make sure that you don't burn it. So you want to, you know, basically keep it in a very low heat um, once it is, once uh, it's been, give me one second, you guys, I'm opening the honey. Okay, so once you guys um, have had it in the heat for a bit, I would say about 15 minutes or so at very low heat, then you can turn it off. And what you're going to do is you're going to let it steep there for a bit until it's lukewarm. Once it's lukewarm, you have the option of A, you can strain it and then you're going to keep the liquid so that you can then integrate it in your bath. Or if you don't have a bath and you're going to shower, you go about showering the way you naturally do. And what you're going to do is you are going to then rub uh, once you've showered, once you've you know shampooed your hair, whatever, then you're going to um, start to rub this uh, potion all over your body from your head uh, sorry not from your head from your neck down and like i said make sure to rub it in a circular motion all over your body so it would be your chest your breast your stomach um your abdomen your legs and so forth okay and once you do that you're gonna stay with it for a bit and really envision right, um, vibrating or emanating this pink light um, energy uh, all over your body. Then you're going to rinse it out. Do not, and I say do not dry or pat or use a towel. When you're done and you've shampooed your hair and you put this concoction on you and you rub it all over your body, um, then you go to rinse it with the water. Do not put any more, you know, shampoo or none of that that's what i'm saying do what you have to do and then you're going to do this at the very end once you're done and once you've watered yourself what you're going to do is you're going to air dry um or if you don't mind just putting on your clothes like that even if you feel a little bit wet then that's your choice but do not like pat or dry yourself with the towel you want to air dry you want that energy um to really emulate for from your body and once that is done, then you can change. Or like I said, me personally, I don't mind. I have, um, for these types of baths, I have a white um, bathrobe that I use. So I don't mind wetting it. I just throw it on myself and I'm good to go. So again, it's it depends on what you prefer. But once you're done with this, you're going to go about, you know, changing, doing whatever it is that you do. Um, very important, like I said, to not dry yourself, okay? Um, and also, if you do have a tendency of wearing like perfume or anything like that, when you're done with this bath and you are getting ready and you decide to put some perfume, put it very lightly, but it is going to affect on a subconscious level, which is going to make you 
vibrate from a higher frequency because it is your preferred perfume and it's going to mix obviously with your with your energy. So again, it, it does serve its double purpose here. Um, you guys definitely let me know if you do this, if you try it at home, let me know how it goes. Let me know what your experience was. Come back and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you guys can get notified of the most recent videos going up. And I will see you guys soon. Till then, bye.